Good afternoon, guys, and I want to welcome you to seeing Shonda Inspires Nations to Grow. You will hear me refer to my family as my singers or my VSPs, Vibrational Singing People. And if you are new, subscribe and click the bell so that you can stay connected with me and share this video. And for those of you who always tap in, mwah, you know that I love you. Well, listen, I just want to tap in for a few minutes. I won't be too long today. This is going to be the first video for our uh, Saturdays, which is Sing and Create Saturdays. So um, this week I've talked a lot about uh, focusing on yourself and, you know, having a motive behind your motivations and then also, you know, focusing on you. So as we begin to dive a little bit deeper into the law of attraction and the way that it works, I wanted to tap in today to give you what I would say the foundation of attraction. Because, you know, we are a spirit or electromagnetic energy. And it's a whole energy field going on around us at all times. So you're tapping into two energies. It's either love or fear. And with love, you know, you have all the characteristics for that. Gratitude, joy, peace, kindness, patience, etc. For fear, you have things like anger and hate and strife and you know depression and you know just complaining so that's all attached to that so it's you have to tap into one of the, one of the other you're going to attract and we'll talk about the law of attraction next week but i wanted to make this very brief and i wanted to talk to you guys about the foundation for for attracting your desires and that would be self-love you have to tap into self-love and I want to go ahead and define what self-love is just really, really quickly before I elaborate on self-love. Self-love is the instinct by which one's actions are directed to the promotion of one's well own welfare or well-being, especially in excessive regard for one's own advantage, chiefly considered desirable rather than narcissistic characteristics. It's very important that as human beings we learn to love ourselves we have to learn to love ourselves some of us may have some issues that stimulated not stimulated that that stems from our childhood it could be you know from a bad caregiver it could be things that may have happened to you as a child teasing uh, being told you know by adults negative things about yourself it's just the list could go on and on and a lot of times it impacts our lifestyle and so regardless to what you believe out of your heart flows the issues of your life and actually scientific research has shown that the heart has far more neurons in it than the brain does it communicates directly to your brain so your heart is where love generates from and so if your heart is not fixed to love yourself, then you go on this quest to find other things to love you. And a lot of this shows up in relationships, whether it is with a significant other, you know, a court and relationship, relationships with our friends, with our children, with our coworkers. We look for that validation outside of ourselves. And I wanna go ahead and make this abundantly clear. It is no one's responsibility to love you to the point of validation. Self-love is so important because it is your responsibility to love yourself. It is your responsibility to validate yourself. It is your responsibility to find that peace within yourself. And the way that you find that peace within yourself is to align yourself with the Creator. The universe, God, whatever you want to call it. You have to align yourself with that. Because that is the core of your self-love. And as you align yourself with that, it will pour in, into you and fill you up. It is not your spouse's responsibility, your children, your friends, your co-workers, your, your you know, parents, your fiance, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, the list can go on and on, not even your pets. It's no one's responsibility to validate you, to love, to fill you up with self-love. People have their own issues and people will run from you every time. You will lose friends, you will lose relationships, you will lose jobs, you will impact your life in a very negative way 
looking for other people to validate you. You are the creator of your own destiny and it is your responsibility to fill yourself up with self-love. So that is the first thing and I want to go ahead and make this disclaimer straight up out front. It is your responsibility to love you because whatever you generate from your heart is signals to your brain and from there it launches out into the atmosphere, the universe and you will draw in your thoughts. So you will go on this repetitive cycle of being in bad relationships, being taken for granted, never getting what you desire because your self-love is low and it's out of alignment with God. It's out of alignment with the source, with the creator. So you have to get into alignment with yourself in order to maximize what you're wanting to attract through the law of attraction. And we'll talk about that more next week. So the foundation of everything is self-love. So you need to take the time out to get alone by yourself and think about some ways that you can love yourself. You need to get in a quiet space and begin to just hear your inner self talk to, talk to the Creator. And you'll be amazed at what you hear when you can get in a quiet place. For those of you that may not be accustomed to doing this, it may take some time for you to do it. But you can start with five minutes. You'll be amazed at what your, what your inner person, your spirit will begin to communicate to source. And you'll get a lot of answers, a lot of ideas. You'll get validation from yourself. And I'm telling you that once you have a healthy self-love, you're free. You no longer will have to use anyone else to fill up your love tank because you do it internally for yourself. And what happens is through your self-love, you will draw in people with healthy self-love as well. It's situations, uh, circumstances, experiences, and you will have a total different life altogether. So it's very important for you to develop self-love for yourself. Spend time alone by yourself. Think about where you want to be in five years. Think about some of the things that you would like to do. And as I said yesterday, you would be amazed what nature would do for you. Just dwelling in nature, going for a walk, maybe sitting outside in your own backyard with a blanket and give yourself a picnic. Watch your little dogs or your cats like run around in the backyard, blow bubbles with your kids, jump rope. You know, my son loves bubbles. He loves to throw frisbees. I mean, you could go fishing. You could walk and throw pebbles into the lake. Whatever you have to do to feel the the nature just nature alone and thinking about where you want to be in the next five years and thinking about ways that you can nurture yourself from within with the foods that we choose to eat we can no longer can love ourselves and continue to contaminate our organs on the inside that is the most unhealthy thing that you could do for yourself and when you know better you have to take action and do better because you'll feel bad no one is perfect you can take small steps daily get hydrated drink six cups of water if you need to start out with four cups and then work your way up to where you're getting a solid eight in each day self-love is so important take time out to see what you're passionate about you know in that quiet time that you have you your inner self will tell you some things that you really like to do do those things you may like to write in your journal you may like to Go and take up a painting class, maybe a kickboxing class, a boxing class, maybe join a little meetup group. It's just a number of things that you can do to evolve as a human being. And you owe it to yourself to get to know yourself better because it's no one's responsibility but your own. So through healthy self-love, you will be in alignment to go ahead and launch what you're wanting to attract. I want you to learn positive self-talk. You know, it's easy to see a cup half empty all the time. I'm preaching to the choir because I used to be that way. There's no future in that. Always see the positives in every situation. Ponder on positive things. Wake up in the spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving. When you get up in the morning, when you go in there and you stand in front of that mirror, you need to tell yourself how grateful you are to be alive, how grateful you are that God chose you for this time, and I love myself at least five to ten times you should tell yourself you love yourself you should tell yourself you love yourself so much before you leave out of that house that it doesn't matter what somebody says to you on your job because you love yourself so much that you're not going to even let it phase you that's what needs to happen some positive self-talk 
being grateful. So we've got it. So we have to practice our self-love. We have to practice that in order for us to maximize attracting and creating the way that we want to. So I just wanted to drop in and just talk to you guys about self-love. If you wanted a little bit more information or whatever, just let me know. But I just want you to know that every person who has been moved by genuine love knows that it leaves endearing traces upon the human heart. Napoleon Hill said that. He said that every person who has been moved by genuine love knows that it leaves enduring traces upon the human heart. Napoleon Hill. So I want you to think about the importance of self-love. I want you to think about the importance of spending time alone by yourself and listening to hear what God is trying to tell you, what your creator is trying to tell you, what you're trying to communicate back to it. I want you to take the time to, you know, get to enjoy, enjoy nature like you should. Do something outside. It's the connection between us and, and the outside elements. It really, really is. Take the time out to focus on what you're eating. Don't mindless put things, mindlessly put things into your body make sure that you're properly hydrated find out what your passions are you never know this if you're never taking at least five or ten minutes to get to know yourself um, don't compare yourself to anyone else because we are our own unique person and no two people are alike I say my kids are the only uh, the only individuals that are closer closest to me but even then they have their own personalities so it's our responsibility to get to know ourselves and it's not anyone else's job to fill our self-love up we should be so full of self-love that it is ridiculous and I am sharing this with you because I want you to be able to maximize what you are trying to create in your life journal tell yourself you love yourself every day 50 times a day 100 times a day if you have to and you will begin to create situations circumstances and a life that you draw in people who also mirror you because that's what you do you're creating regardless to if you realize it or not if you're drawing in people that mistreat you and treat you bad then that shows you what your thoughts and what's in the depths of your heart because out of your heart flows the issues of your life but you begin to draw in high quality people that love themselves so much that it's just one big love fest do we still have challenges because everybody uh, we have different personalities of course but when you pull in people with healthy self-love for themselves they deal with things totally differently so I want to give you the foundation to attraction and that is self-love if you all want more information just drop it down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to elaborate a little bit more but I just wanted to tap in to remind you this week every time you stand in front of your mirror tell yourself you love yourself you should be doing at least one love meditation a day one self-love meditation a day you can google them online if you want me to do one for you just put it in the comments i'll be more than happy to do like a 10 minute self-love meditation but you should be doing a self-love meditation do this for at least 21 days a self-love meditation and telling yourself that you love yourself every time you stand in front of a mirror and i guarantee your life will change and you'll be so happy with what you are creating because it will show up in your physical world I love you guys mm -hmm. and I'll see you in two bye now